Hello, this is Tolfman Trifle Productions with another Blender quick tip. And then this quick tip, I'm going to show you how you can uh, rig anything in Blender the easy way. And this test by using an add-on that already comes in Blender, which is called the Rigify tool. Now it's come a long way since I started using the Rigify tool in Blender. Uh, before, uh, you could just use it to in its states of infancy, you could only use it to rig, rig like uh, human beings. But now you can rig animals, um, dogs, cats, uh, birds, things like that. Uh, but for the sake of this tutorial, we're just going to stick to the human. So I've created this person, uh, this human mesh in uh, Make Human. And that's a free add on, a free tool for Blender. Now I've imported it as a wave front object. Let's get rid of this, uh, the lights and the camera because we don't need those two things. Let's delete that. And now to activate the Rigify add-on because it comes with Blender, just go to Edit and Preferences. Let's type in Rigify and put a, a check in the box and it's activated. Now this is for Blender what version, I think this is 2.82. So 2.82 and above, it's got extra um, extra rigs in it. And uh, let's just start. I'm not going to turn on the, um, what is it, the, uh, the shortcut key uh, display tool because of the fact that for some reason it keeps shutting down uh, Blender. I don't know why, but it's, that's what it does. But let me just turn it on anyway. Let's, let's just take a chance. Okay, I'm going to turn this on, and let's see, let's move it to the middle, move it up a little bit so you can see the keys I'm using, and hopefully everything will go smoothly. Close that back. Now to activate the Rigify add-on, once it's been turned on in the add-on menu, just press Shift-A, and go to Armature. Now, like I mentioned before, it's it's come with a lot more stuff. This is the Meta Human Rig, which is it's going. This is going to be a version that we're going. This I'm not going to use this one. I'll, I'll use another one. But you have animals, birds, cats, horses, shark, wolf, and we're going to use the basic one. So I'm going to click on this basic. And if it happens that your model is bigger than the um, than the rig. The best thing to do is just to shrink your model down just to suit the size of the rig. We're going to click on our model, make sure everything's selected here, press the on our keyboard. I think the eyes have been selected, so yeah, they have. And I'm going to scale down by pressing S. Scroll up on my mouse wheel so you can see what we're looking at. Let me see, let's turn to the side by pressing 3. And it looks about right. Let's just scroll up. Yeah, that's that's fine. And now we're going to uh, match the pose of our rig to our model here. So let's left click on our rig. And we're going to go to edit mode by pressing tab. Now we're in edit mode. And we're going to activate the X mirror so that when we move elements on this side of the rig, they automatically simulate on the other side. So that's what this does. Let's press X so it simulates on the X axis. Now in uh, earlier versions of Blender, to box like you have to press B, uh, but for some reason in 2.82 and above, you just hold down your left, let's press A to just select everything, you just hold down your left mouse button and drag across and automatically box select for some reason. I don't know why it does that for this version, but other versions it doesn't, but that's the situation. So let's press on uh, this icon for our move gizmo. I'm going to move this over. We're going to position our, our hand. The reason why I picked this rig is because there are no finger bones. And one thing you have to take, keep in mind is that the more bones you have on a rig, the more of a challenge it is for the rig to actually uh, properly, properly mend itself to the mesh. You'll have issues with, especially with the fingers where the bones won't line up perfectly with the mesh, you have to go in there and, and weight paint all that stuff, but we're going to avoid all that by using a basic rig, which is this one that has no finger bones, which is good for us for this tutorial. Because this concept that we're doing, this technique that we're doing, it applies to all rigs that you want to do. Creating 
uh, having the metal rig already create the uh, complete skeleton and then having bone shapes made that's the good thing about Terrigify it can create bone shapes for you and I'll show you what that is bone shapes for you to apply to your rig to your mesh I mean that makes it easier to move the mesh around so let's line up our bones to the mesh here so we're gonna make sure the elbow part I'm kind of starting but the elbow part is where the the um, arm bends right in that area the head looks good let's uh, scroll let's get our feet positioned properly so left click and drag if you can't left click, click and drag to box select remember it's control B to box select is it control B let me let me try something or is it just B okay it's just B sorry about that just press B on your keyboard to box select and just when it uh, these crosshairs appear when you press B these this uh, little I guess crosshair appears just left click and drag over what you want to box select and it'll do, do automatically so we're going to align the knees up okay the hips look fine now let's go to the side view by pressing 3 on our keyboard and that's why it's good to look at your mesh and rig from all angles because from the front it looks like the hands are positioned properly but when you go to off to the side the hands are further back the hands of the rig are further back so we're going to uh, box, box select that and drag this forward uh, to rotate so that it faces the same angle as the hand so left click on our elbow joint and drag that over position that down press 1 again it looks good just kind of give it a once over to make sure the rig is in line with the rest of your mesh and once you've done that you're satisfied with the way it looks you get up out of edit mode by pressing tab again and now you're back in object mode now like I said before the cool thing with Riggify is that you can uh, it, it automatically creates bone shapes for you and then to, in order to create those bone shapes we're going to go to our icon to the left of our, of our uh, user interface and click on this icon of this uh, figure stick figure running left click on that and you're going to see here it says at the bottom generate rig so we're going to press that and see we're going to see how, how it creates bone chips for us to use so let's click on that and it automatically does it now once this done this we don't need the other rig anymore you can just delete that left click on the main rig and then press delete turn keyboard just get rid of that let's left click back on our on our uh, bone shapes here these are what the bone shapes are see these you can in in blender you can create any shape you want to be a bone shape and what the bone shapes do is that when you're an animator and you're wanting to uh, just have particular let me say emblems that you'd want to use to uh, resemble you know the bones instead of having those bones themselves these things you can create them yourself and I might do, t do a tutorial on that but this helps you as, as an animator understand you know the position and the movement of the bones as you can see this uh, this this little circle here with the arrows it gives you better and a better, better idea of how to move your character back and forth using the rig this is forward this is backwards this is to the right this is to the left and these arrows like I said before you can create bone shapes yourself in blender from scratch you can make them whatever you want them to look like I mean this could be like the uh, this could be like a hand you can create a, a hand uh, shape in blender to replace the bone we're just going to use the bone shapes that uh, the rig pie I don't has provided for us and the next thing you want to do is to apply this rig to your mesh so you left click on your mesh hold down shift left click on the bone shaped rigs and press control P control P and then is that the right sequence let me do that, let me do that again left click on sometimes it's kinda iffy uh, when it comes to what you should, see, what you should select first but let's click on our mesh and our bone shapes first 
hold down shift and click on our mesh and then press control P that's not it either so I said it's kind of iffy so let's click on our mesh again hold down shift left click on our rig control P with automatic weights See, the first time we did this this menu didn't come up so like I said before it's kind of iffy sometimes with blender but just keep in mind first the mesh then the rig then control P and choose the option with automatic weights left let's let's left click on that and then that's done and then to ensure that this actually works let's left click on our rig go into pose mode and let's see if, how good a, of a job it's done. Let's left click on that and let's press R to rotate. Is that the right one? To, is that the one right? R. Okay, so yeah. Yeah, so it's it's uh, it's bound itself to our mesh, which is what we're looking for. R. Okay, yeah, so that looks good. Let's go into, let's get out of wireframe mode. Let's look in, at it from a solid mesh point of view. Ooh. That's the texture view. Just want the mesh view. Okay, there it is. Let's click on that. R rotates. Okay, so that's that's the head. You see, since we haven't, since we use like a, a really basic initial rig, it's actually bound itself to our mesh a lot better. Uh, so the more simple your rig is, the easier it is to bind it to your mesh without having to do a lot of cleanup. Yeah, so this is this turned out pretty good. Let's click on the waist to see what the waist does. Okay. And it automatically applies IK and FK uh, components to the bones. Um, IK, FK is a little bit different from IK. I'll have to explain that in, de in depth probably later if I, whenever I do a tutorial on creating a rig from scratch from without using Rigified tool at all. But IK uh, inverse schematics is that I think that's how I think that's what it stands for when you uh, click on a part of the bone and move it it moves the rest of the arm FK if you were to do that with FK it would just move the hand but not move the uh, forearm so IK is what I always use as opposed to FK but yeah this is how you can easily rig anything in blender using the rigify add-on and it's pretty straightforward pretty simple and it works great most of the time or sometimes but like I said before sometimes you have to do some kind of cleanup with it so the less bone to use the better and that's today's quick tip um, in blender once again thank you guys who are, have watched all the videos and the ones you're watching those of you who are watching the ones I've put out right now I really appreciate you guys thank you guys who have subscribed in the past those of you who are subscribing now and those of you who will subscribe in the future really appreciate you guys and I'll see you guys on the next one alright adios